What's up, gays? Straight to another day. It's Mally. I'm back with another episode of Life is Strange, True Colors, Wavelength. So that was a long-ass title. It's been a while, so I don't remember exactly how we left off, but I know that it's Halloween, and it is October, so it's super fitting. What are we supposed to be doing right now? Let's fucking find out. Oh. <laughs> 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 I went to go check my to-do list. <laughs> and the first thing that greets me is a fucking dating app. And this girl that looks like she's trying way too hard. No, thank you. Um, oh. Uh, is it weird that I'm not really in the mood to, like, scout for people right now? Like, I, I kind of want to talk to Fiona again. Let's not race- What does that fucking mean? No. No. <laughs> I'm uncomfy. Uh, I don't... I... What happened with Fiona? No thanks. Can I just say no to everyone? Like, and just pass? Like, I'm good. Oh, you're actually kind of cute, though. You look like a singer that I used to have a crush on. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened with Fiona, but like... <laughs> Listen, I'm weak. Uh, no. If you don't enter a tagline, I don't know anything about you. Uh, yeah, why not? Because I still don't know what happened with Fiona. Enter a fucking tagline. <laughs> Fuck you, app. <laughs> still asking me to sign up for premium. Oh my god. Bitch. Why? Why does it look like that? What the hell? What? Oh, fucking Valkyrie. What am I supposed to do with this? Aw, uh, so we do have our kitten with us. Cute. I'm gonna get a photo of this anyway, just... Because, again, I find it strange that you try to make me memorize this, when in reality, when you're in the booth, you're allowed to have the paper in front of you. Like, you don't have to improv shit. I think that's weird. Let's go with the Black Lan... <laughs> I think we can figure out that it's the Black Lantern, so why not? Kind Haven listeners, Fuck. by now you've heard me talk about everything the Black Lantern is famous for. There's great nothing food, here. <laughs> great beer, great service, and great atmosphere. I talked about burgers, so but okay. what are you okay. waiting for? One more reason to go? Then consider... Drugs. Oh. Uh... It says dinner hour. Yeah. Fucking that one. Dinner hour. What the fuck? Um, don't worry. You can still get dinner outside oh. of that one hour. But yeah, dinner hour at the land. I'm an idiot. Why and was just when you thought it couldn't get any better? You can now look forward to uh uh live music. Live music. Live music on Monday evenings. Or maybe Sunday evenings? If you show up on Sunday and there's no music, that's how you'll know it's on Monday. I Drop think... by today and tell them Steph sent you. Oh god, that was- Ah! 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 Uh, get I forget how to answer phones. I forget controls. Hey, you're on the air with Steph. I have my keyboard, not my controller. Hey. Alright, um, thanks for taking my call. Firewatcher, why? Don't thank me yet. What can I predict you for? We're still doing that? Well, I don't know. I'm out here for a three-week stay in the Firewatch Tower outside of town. I was actually just kind of hoping to chat with someone. Oh, God. Clingy bastard. Um, booth tips? I don't know. Got any tips for staying mentally healthy inside a tiny little booth? Asking for a friend. Oh, that's right. Something bad say? happened. I'm a level 90 loner. How about yourself? <laughs> Probably closer to like level 10. <laughs> All right, fireman. Since this is still a fortune telling show, how about this? You can tell me my fortune. <laughs> well, I'm no radio psychic, but I'll do my best. What would you like to know? Oh, geez. This is what are the odds weird. I end up being alone forever? Hey. <laughs> okay. Is this a fear or an aspiration? Uh, I... Oh, aspiration for sure. Having total freedom, owing nothing to anyone? Sounds like the life. I don't have a crystal cootie catcher <laughs> or whatever to look into. But I can tell you this. Getting away from everyone is the easy part. Sometimes it's 
Even too easy. All right, Edge Lord. Uh, I fucking know. Yeah, I know all about that. I think that's how right, we ended up you. here. <laughs> so I learned this the hard way, but the idea of being alone can be a lot more enticing than the reality. And too often, the people who want to be alone real bad, they're the ones who end up calling into radio shows just to hear a stranger's voice. But that wasn't really a fortune, was it? Ah, you got me. I'll have to do better next time. Thanks for the chat. And thank you for listening to KRCT. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a cat. I was I just play with the fucking light. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know what he was saying. Like I get it, but <laughs> you get to play with a pretty light. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Honestly, like, this, like, this little setup just reminds me of mine. I just feel. <laughs> I still need to talk up our sponsors if I want to get paid. Let's try again with an ad, shall we? <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's go for Grimleys, whatever the fuck that is. I, I swear I was listening, but like there was really nothing that I could add to that. Like, honestly, like, he's just like, oh, you want to get away? Because, like, that's right, we kind of ended on, I think, I don't remember exactly what we ended on, but I know that we ended on something, well, taking out our pride decorations, ugh, my heart. Um, but we also kind of ended on, I guess, finding out about, like, Izzy and stuff like that, which I'm gonna assume is Steph's ex and things like that. So that was kind of sad, and I think maybe Steph came out here to get away from her, and that might have been what happened, so maybe that's why she's in a weird mood. Let's read an ad and hope I don't fuck it up too bad. Because I KRCT messed up the lantern. is proudly sponsored by Grimley's, uh, auto... Uh, repairs. Repairs. Grimley's Auto Repairs. Haven Springs' most trusted name in automotive service. Let's talk about Grimley's record. They've proudly served our community for... Uh... Uh, yeah. A darn long time. Like, since the caveman days, when you had to stick your feet through the bottom of the car and just walk real fast. That's a level of experience you can trust. So if you or someone you love is a car, you owe it to yourself to check out Grimley's. That didn't go too bad. Yeah, because on the um, paper, I figured it was repair because there's a word here that looks like parts. So... <laughs> Let's get out of the booth a little bit. Oh, Steph. You don't look too happy when we first started this on the cutscene last time. That was pretty... Oh, Steph. I love her so much, and like... I stuck the chore list on my laptop. Let's see what still needs doing. I want more characters like her, like, as leads, you know? Rung by rung, sucker. Steph is like openly and honestly like flamboyant is all hell and like i just i want to see that more in main game stuff rather than like secondary characters or like just thrown in the dlc even like can we just have this more in our leads and our main stuff can you like i know i had this complaint last time but can you stop putting this shit in the dlc like we deserve to be seen like front and center uh anyway what are the chores let's see what i have left I'm gonna Good. take a picture. All of it. Because I don't want to cross reference anything. Who is this? You're on with Steph. Ah! Uh, yes! Okay. I need your help. I'm in trouble with HR. Is this a nice what guy? What did you do? I screwed up. I was chatting with my coworker about the gym. We were talking about leg day, and she said she wanted to work more on her lower body. Oh. Here it comes. What did you say? I said her butt was fine as is, and she shouldn't worry about it, which was- Ugh. Okay, no, we're not going easy, fuck you. Uh-huh. Did you also call her toots and compliment her on her gams? It's not like that. We're friends. It was just a slip of the tongue, and now it's all blown out of proportion. I'm not that kind of guy, really. But now I'm freaking out. Can you tell me what will happen with HR? You're fucked. I'll see what I can do. You're fucked. You shouldn't be talking that way to your coworker anyway, regardless of gender or intentions. Uh, 
Come on. Ten. The most nothing number on the die. <laughs> A conversation with HR. Not much to go on from the dice roll. So... What do I think this guy deserves? Uh... The thing is, as annoying as it is, I don't know if he's like a repeat offender or not. Like, obviously, you shouldn't do it the first time or all. Ugh. I just... I don't like the idea of, like, letting him get away with it. And I feel like he still thinks it's nothing, so maybe this will, like, wake him up a little bit. Because, like, you shouldn't be talking that way to your coworker anyway. It's, like, highly inappropriate. And, like, regardless of gender or regardless of attraction or not, you shouldn't be talking that way to them anyway. I'm back. Ready to face the music? Let's just get it over with. You sit down with HR in a hard plastic waiting room chair next to a hang in there poster from the 80s. You tell HR the same story you told me about leg day and not being that kind of guy, but your HR rep isn't having any of it. No, really? You read the riot act about appropriate workplace interactions, notes get scribbled in your file. In the end, you're let off with an official warning. That's so unfair. It was a stupid mistake. Does that make me some creep all of a sudden? Yes, Uh, but chill the fuck out. Okay, relax. No one is calling you a creep. But you don't have to be a creep to have done a creepy thing. That's what I meant. And if you weren't a creep, you'd care that what you said had the effect of creeping someone out. Right? I guess. So prove it. Take your punishment, learn your lesson, and move on. Please direct any further questions to your HR rep. Thanks for the call. Uh, yeah, like... She, I'm glad she said it like that because I couldn't figure out the words to like properly articulate like you might not have meant to creep somebody out but the thing is intention doesn't matter when you are when you've hurt somebody at all like it, it no longer matters you need to figure out what the hell you did wrong apologize and move on and do better like don't do the same thing twice because like i still need to talk up response yeah yeah i want to get paid we'll we'll do that actually um because i want to get all the ads out of the way something that's you don't think is offensive like something that you think is nothing might mean something else to somebody else and that's why certain things trigger other people while others don't get triggered by the same things so you have to be mindful of that and while you might not have meant it in the moment like not apologizing or trying to like brush it off is not a big deal is actually even worse so that's how you keep yourself from becoming a quote-unquote nice guy like i'm a nice guy no if you were actually a nice guy you'd like be more mindful of people and like when someone tells you that you've done something wrong or you've made them uncomfortable, you don't get all defensive. You learn from your mistake and move the fuck on. Anyway, let's read an ice cream ad. Here's an offer from our most oh, loyal ooh, sponsors. Wait, Avalanche here. ice cream. Evie. Um, no weird gimmicks. No, let's just go straight Avalanche forward. Avalanche will be open on Halloween. So, if mom stuffs a coat under your princess dress, Know that you can swing by Avalanche and stick your sweaty face in the freezer. <laughs> They'll be giving out free cones to anyone. I would say in costume. Who wears a costume. So, you know, dust off that Dracula cape and sink your fangs into a scoop of Black Forest Cherry. Uh, anyway, check it out. Sorry. Still got chores to do in the store. Yeah, yeah. Better head out there. Gotcha. Sorry, like, I heard that and immediately, I have sensitive teeth, so I can't bite ice cream. So hearing that sentence, I was just like, bleh, <laughs> can't do that. Uh, let's see, what do we got left? Must do make that sound every time. Some more chores, record store. Okay, this is pretty straightforward. Let's hop out of the booth. I still want to find out what more about what happened with, like, Steph and Izzy, but I guess all in time. Because, <laughs> like, and also... I have a feeling it's because of Izzy, but I want to know exactly why Steph, like, came out of here. Like, the specific reason why. Because something clearly happened with them. But, I, I don't know. Let's go listen to our song. Been a while since I've worked on my song-ish thing. I want to hear. So, from what I remember, we gave it a guitar. We gave it, like, a more of a pop hook. So, I'm very curious as to hear what this sounds like. I 
I've been tinkering with this one for like half a year, and I still don't know what it's supposed to be. I like it, though, so far. Sorry, I saw freaking uh, Chloe's shirt. Uh, how do we pop out of here? Cool. It might sound pretty dope with a breakdown, right? Oh, and a vocal track. Oh, you definitely need a vocal track for that girl. Honestly, a triumphant breakdown, dark breakdown. This sounds too happy on its own already, so let's give it some contrast with the dark Maybe breakdown. Maybe I'll really bring the doom and gloom in the breakdown. I think you're gonna need more of keyboard in that one, like a bigger keyboard sound for that to work, but yeah. Oh my god, I love how the song just updates like as we go through this all oh, cute. Wait, what's this sticky note? It's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm on a roll now. Oh, this makes me- music me is so happy. Oh my god. I know I said I really resonated with like Alex as well, but like... As far as like music and sexuality, I feel like Steph really gets me on that front. That makes me so happy. Oh, we had to search for a CD thing as well. Cool. I'm so happy. Like, I love them Found both it. so much. Oh my god, I adore them. I don't know what that... What? Wait, 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 what? What's wrong? Uh, what? Is this gonna, like, connect to Arcadia or something? Because that's my first thought. Oh, there's a clarinet out for some reason. My sister plays that instrument. Get it? Steph picks instead of staff picks? I, I hate, hate you. I- oh, never mind. That- no, that makes sense. <laughs> Silly. Cute. Cute. Oh, I missed you so much, Steph. Oh, I adore her to pieces. Yeah, girl, you go stock stuff. <laughs> why? Okay, I get it. You're referencing the first game, but how? And why is Steph so concerned about it? Like, she obviously knew our Chloe, so how does that connect? What? What's with the Come face, on, lovely? Wait, no! We- We- Ah, the booth! The booth! The booth! The fucking booth! Move! Uh... Wait, no, we saved Chloe! We saved Chloe! Why are you so upset? Chloe's not dead! Right? How far along is this timeline? How far along are we on the timeline? Okay, um... Someone's got a phone call, someone's got a phone call. Thanks Hi. for calling KRCT. You're on with Steph. I'm gonna play with the lamp again. Hey! Hi! I've... Wait, no, um, turn it back on. This is my first time calling, so sorry if I get it wrong. Uh-huh. Uh, fuck. Uh, no wrong answers. Hey, don't worry. There's no way to get it wrong. Eh. Just tell me what's on your mind. I want right. purple again. Uh, thanks. thanks close enough. Well, <laughs> I'll stop I playing played with on my high school soccer team last year, since all the rec leagues here stop at age 16. And this girl on the team is just, I don't know, the worst. Like, I know uh -huh. I'm awkward sometimes, I'm not like, a cool girl, but that's no excuse for her to torture me like she does. I don't want to stop playing. Soccer is the only thing I've ever really been good at. I guess what I want to know is, I want to oh. stand up for myself, but will that turn out well? Or should I just call it quits now? Girl! That legitimately sucks. Let me see what I can see. Girl, even like, even if this turns out to be a low roll, fucking stand up for yourself. Like, you don't have to take that fucking crap. Like, I'm come on. Boom. 16. Girl, stand up for Boys yourself. are the worst. Especially when they ruin something you love. What do I tell her? I don't know, you tell she me. pretty high. Oh yeah, it's not any D20, but you become friends. No, look, there's a- okay, music. There's a time and place where you, like, can be nice and, like, get to know each other, but, like, if you're gonna, like, start this off immediately, like, on disrespect, you need to shut that down first, and then maybe you can become friends. Alright. Ready to hear your future? Yeah. What is it? You keep your head down, and at first, it feels like nothing's changed. 
She keeps at it, torturing you whenever she gets the chance. But one day... Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, wait for her to screw up. In the dead heat of a tied game, she goes for the steal and misses. You totally stunt on her, getting possession and sinking the go-ahead goal. Top corner, near post. The crowd goes wild, and in an instant, your teammates wake up. Sweet. Things don't become totally amazing right away, but by the end of the season, you and your teammates are thick as thieves, and Miss Mean Girl is out in the cold. Turns out, nobody likes an asshole, and they were all just waiting for permission to stop pretending. I mean, yeah, it sounds good, but it's just a nice story. Well, if it helps, I've been there. Really? Yeah. Middle school, high school, I thought I'd have to move away to make it stop. Kids like this girl of yours have a nose for what makes you different. They sense weird and they get their claws out. But if you figure out what makes you weird and embrace it, arm yourself with it, you take it out of their hands and into yours. They're left with no ammunition. For me, it was coming out. For you, who knows? But whatever makes you weird is also what makes you a badass. Trust me. Thanks, Steph. That does help. A lot. You're welcome. And thanks for calling. Oh my god, I needed a Steph when I was little. God, so badly. Alright, we still have stuff to do around the store. Glad I got the ads out of the way. That started out pretty bad, but then it ended up pretty good because when I meant shut her down I meant like just get her to fucking stop like stand up for yourself not like do a weird fucking scheme but I mean it wouldn't be Steph if we weren't like scheming and stuff I have a feeling like the rest of what she said after that she would have said no matter what but I mean it's true so but, but we'll shelve this oh this looks so cool Oh. Okay, okay, I get the storm is fucking raging. Why? 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 What? I don't... What? This isn't an alternate universe. I am so not having this right now. No, 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 I get it. This is not an alternate universe, though, Last because... Chore. Just get it done. Yeah, but you know Chloe, though. You know her. So this can't be an alternate universe. Ooh! Wait, I didn't know this was gonna launch a cutscene. Wait, wait, Steph. Oh, it must be back here then. Probably, maybe. Ooh, pretty piano. I, I don't know what the double ones are called. That's another buy sticker. Buy flag, buy flag. Ooh, there's the drawing, there's the drawing. I wanna draw more. What do we got? We got necromancers and we got our little gun boy. Why are there guns but in this wait, universe all of a sudden? There's more. <laughs> the kids are wanted, or it's all a painting. The painting sounds like it's gonna be prettier creatively. I think I'll throw Ethan a little curveball. Yes. Please, let's do that. Oh, I wanna see, I wanna see. This is gonna look so good. Let's Ooh. see what Ethan does with that. I see you, Bob Ross. I fucking see you. Mysterious box, must look. Backseat bingo. Why does that sound familiar? Where does that say backseat bingo anywhere? Open the box. Give to me. No locked boxes around me. Don't tell me it's empty. Holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> like, Kasha Kasha? Wait, what? Oh my god! <laughs> no fucking way! No fucking way! Oh, that's so good. <gasps> Cubs pride flag. Kind of. That's it, right? I think that's what that is. Okay, where do we find... Where is the rubbish? Ooh, it's back here. So I was supposed to be here anyway. Uh, give to me. That should be all of it, right? I think so. Okay? Mom! Mom! 
Did it happen around this time of year? Is that why you're... That's gotta be it then. It's just like any other day. Just like any other fucking day. Okay. I know what this is Gabe. now. Wait, what? What about Gabe? Gabe's a great friend. More importantly, he's got booze. When I'm done here, I'll close up the DJ booth and call him. Yeah, I think we're actually done. Wait, can we fill that up for Valkyrie before we get out of here? Damn, Ninja Cat. I just filled this up. Well, you fill it up Sometimes again! I stand here and gossip about myself. Alright, fine. You better fill that up before you leave. I know all too well kind of what she's going through right now. Today must be the anniversary of the storm that must have taken out our house. Um, and so this day in particular is going to be harder for her. I have something similar, obviously not a big storm, but, um, there's a certain day in December where, like, things were really... Not necessarily bad, but it's an anniversary of something that upsets me greatly, so I understand where she's coming from, um, with this. Because I thought they were referring to the storm in the first game, but no, this is a different Gabe, storm, I guess. Listen, I want to drink until I can't feel feelings. Think you can help me out? I'll be right there. Wait, what sane person leaves their fucking laptop in the fucking- why? I'm calling bullshit on that. Who's Mikey as well? He keeps- this game- this name keeps popping up. Oh. From Mikey. I understand, okay? I know how this time of year is. When these memories attack you and all you want to do is shut them out, I know you'd give anything to get through tonight without thinking of Arcadia Bay. Or the storm, or me. Wait. But stuff's from Seattle. And isn't Arcadia Bay set in Oregon? What? Unless the storm spread? But just in case I'm here for you and I always will be, no matter how fucking terrible this night always is, I'm not the least bit sorry that I still have you in my life. And I know you feel the same even if you're at the literal worst at showing it. Anyway, you know I'm around and can definitely use some gaming distraction. No pressure really, but I'm around. Was this a friend of ours? I... I don't know. Alright. That's not oh, great. All right. Mikey. I don't know who is Mikey to us. Like, he's got to be a friend or like maybe a step sibling, step parent or something. Maybe I don't know. Wait, I thought we were heading to Gabe's. What the fuck is happening right now? Really glad we could hang out tonight. Like I said, this time of year for me, it's. Uh... Well, you know. I'm gonna say this is a friend of ours, maybe. Yeah. Damn. Why am I such a downer? Come on. Let's see what monsters and trickery you have planned for Elamon to breeze past this week. <laughs> You're on. I just need to do a few things to get set up. Okay. Where were we? I don't fucking know. Um... Do I need to reference this? Probably. I'll probably just take a picture of it. Just cause. Hey, take your time. <laughs> All right. We playing or not? Shh. Wells is coming. What? Penis! Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I think Chloe and Rachel are playing their own game. No. <laughs> no. No. Pass me the nerd dice. The what? Pass me the D20, D10, and D4, please. Sure thing. They're not dead, are they? What? I'm gonna bash this Hydra's head in with its other heads. You got this. Oh, Rachel. Everything okay? That just made me fucking sad, though. Uh, I'm fine. I don't know how All comfy right. we are with you. Let's turn on the useless box. Memory. Is there a difference? What the fuck I did that do? Mean. Sometimes the most painful memories are from before all this shit went down. I wasted so much time being jealous of Chloe and Rachel. <laughs> Whatever they had, I thought it was perfect. And... Uh, uh... Guilt, I guess? I feel so fucking guilty that I spent even one second being anything but appreciative that they were in my life. Wait, 
Even the people I didn't like. I didn't have to be so... I don't know... Judgmental, I guess. Wait, what? We chose to save Just Chloe! they're gone now doesn't change who they were. You really think you did anything wrong? <laughs> I didn't do anything right. I know Rachel is dead. You ever... Talk to Chloe? Chloe's no, still alive, she's right? Off the radar like me. The two wandering weirdos. Okay, yeah, Chloe's still alive. Look, Steph. What you're feeling? I'm fine. Come on. Let's keep playing. Okay. It's just sure we'll move Elamon, whatever. I believe Elamon was about to enter the secret treasure chamber. So Chloe's yeah, alive. Right. Rachel is dead. Rachel's gonna be dead no matter what. But Okay, so Chloe's just AWOL, I guess? Is this before okay, this is after the events of the first game. The second one is not related. I'm so confused. Where on the timeline is this? Cause this can't be This is the third one, technically DLC. The second one Fuck. I don't know where in the Water timeline that in. is. Roll for perception. I I guess. The storm is is biblical. Why hasn't Drew called back yet? Anything from your mom? What is happening? She'll be fine. My house is safe. You know what isn't though? Your position. You were playing D and D that night. You're surrounded by enchanted skeletons, and your HP is fucked. Now roll. I'm sorry. This was a bad idea. It's cool. We can stop. Yeah. No. I don't know. How do you deal with the thoughts that won't go away? What do you mean? Oh. Who the fuck is... Do I... Did I know a Drew? I don't know about our deaths. You know about Drew? At the end? I don't know who Drew is. Oh, like picturing my brother being crushed to death by cinder blocks. Wondering if it hurt? If he had any last thoughts? I guess I just accept them now. It's like a song that gets stuck in your head. It's there whether you like it or not, so might as well sing along. I've watched my mom die a thousand times in my mind, running into the basement grabbing her rosary beads, screaming in fear. It's always a little different each time. The differences are the fucking worst. But maybe talking about it helps. Yeah, maybe. You know we don't have to keep playing. We barely played to begin with. Let's try. Okay, I guess we... That must be how she copes. Uh... Roll, why not? Let's see what horrible surprises are in store for you in the next room. Bring it on. So this is after Arcadia Bay. I was just wondering if it was before. But for sh it's for sure after, but... I'm a little confused as to where Arcadia Bay is set, because when I looked it up, it said that Arcadia and Bay was in Oregon. that's minus five HP. Oh, come on! How is your GMing even more devious from Seattle? Oh, from Seattle. Hey, listen. You know next week is the... What? Well, it's the thing. One year. I was thinking... Why don't you come? It'll be... Well, you know. It'll be fucking horrible, but... Maybe a little less horrible if we're both there? Yeah, that sounds good. Why are you doing this? She must have been away at college or Stop. something. No, I mean, why are you doing this? I ghosted you. Again. When I ghost people, they go away. That's how it works. <sighs> but you didn't. Why? Why do you think? Uh... My instinct is to go for this one because that's how I feel about myself personally, because I've been in Steph's spot. 
But I think for the real reason, I think he's just sentimental. He likes the idea of me and what was what it was back then, but I'm different now and I don't know if he can handle that. Maybe you just can't let go of high school. I'm your human time capsule back to the good old days. I know you don't believe that. Uh, you kind of do. Fuck. Steph, I've taken a lot of shit from you over the years, but this... I've been trying to let you go. I haven't held you hostage here. Don't you dare try I to blame me. That's why I keep coming back. <sighs> why? In high school, I didn't know who I was without being Steph's best friend. And now when we hang out, it feels like I'm bringing that part of myself back from the That's dead. That's not healthy, dude. That I is terrible. You, because I'm not strong enough to be my real self without you in my life. That's it. It's pretty fucking dumb of me, huh? Not necessarily dumb, but not healthy. So I'm not gonna call him dumb, but it it's not healthy, it's not a good idea, and you need to pull away from that eventually. Mikey. Preferably soon. I'm so sorry. I know you are. It's not just you that makes you feel any better. I do this shit to everyone. It doesn't. But, continue. <laughs> Ever since Arcadia Bay, it's like the moment I start to care about someone, or some place, that's it. It's a matter of time before I find something wrong. And I'm out. Been there, done that. Maybe that's okay. What? Maybe being a wandering weirdo is your destiny. Okay, don't call it that. Like Elamon, adventure will always find you. <sighs> I'm not gonna shoot him down right now. He's hopeful, and if he can be hopeful, then I'm not gonna take that away from him. Doesn't mean I believe him. I never thought of it that way. Hey, that's why I'm here. Okay, don't try to cement yourself as a permanent part of my I life. I deserve you as a best friend. But I promise I'll do better. Because the truth is, I need you too. Now will you quit stalling and take your damn turn? Just because Elamon's totally screwed doesn't mean you get to distract me all night. He is? I think you're forgetting about the protection amulet I got off that Cyclops last session. <laughs> I don't forget anything, and don't think I don't have any Halloween surprises planned for you. Oh, spooky. Yikes, alright. Well, I'm glad I kind of like- I guess I kind of got more information that way. We know exactly when this is taking place, because I wasn't sure if this was pre-Arcadia Bay or post-Arcadia Bay. We know that Chloe's still alive, because I chose to save Chloe, obviously. Okay. we've had no calls Winter in the now? past hour. Which means you're all either partying or sleeping. December. Both of which I respect. This has got to be December. I gotta say though, if you haven't tried spending New Year's Eve locked in a small room talking to yourself, I highly recommend it. Oh, okay, okay, so December 31st. Honestly. Gotcha. I might do this every year. Oh. I guess we got a phone call. Hey there, you're live on KRCT and I'm not alone in the universe. <laughs> Who's this? Hey, it's Gabe. Oh, hey. It's everyone's favorite bartender. <laughs> uh, let's ask about, screw the lantern, ask about so, him. So, what are your resolutions and how many of you already broken? <laughs> yeah. I was actually hoping to get your take on one of them. Oh, you're using our fortune radio. That's cute. Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to the psychic. Oh. I'm going to move my camera right. a bit because I'm blocking off all the cutscenes. What's on your mind? Where There's is my mouse? Someone in my family who might be totally alone right now. I've been thinking of reaching out to her. I'll move it the after. The thing is, it's been seven years. 
And all that time, I never got in touch. Oh, this must be Alex. Well, I don't know if Why Not's going to help right now. I think he just needs some reassurance. Maybe you weren't ready yet. Maybe if you had, it wouldn't have helped either of you. That is also true. No, look, the truth is I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. This is Alex. I'm freaking out that she hates me. And honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So I'm calling you to ask. What's going to happen if I contact her? What's she going to say? <laughs> you know I'm not actually psychic, right? Shh, shh, shh. Don't ruin it. <laughs> okay. Aww. Give me a second. We know what happens. We hugged him. And he was blue at the time, and I didn't understand what that meant, but I do now. Teen. It's going to be okay. Guess what? It's looking bright. Seriously? <laughs> what would be super good for Gabe? Well, I know what I did. Um, I don't think a sense of purpose is going to help very much. I think an honest conversation leaves it open to where like anything can happen. Because you can't really promise anything. I'll pop down after the cutscene. Because if you I move it out. now, it's going to pause the, the game. The you have a really tough conversation. You talk for two hours. She says all the things you were afraid she would. Yes, she's hurt, but when we saw him, I think she missed him more than anything, so I'd say wary. She's worked hard to manage without you. She doesn't want to get too close in case things fall apart again. This is supposed to be good? When you hang up, you're exhausted emotionally raw but you're also grateful because now you know exactly what needs to be rebuilt and you can roll up your sleeves and get started you admit you screwed up and you don't try to rush anything gradually she starts texting you back once a week twice a week first thing every morning until one day she sends you a screenshot of her phone history. <laughs> it's calls to Gabe all the way down. And you realize she's saying she's so happy you're back in her life. Thanks. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Then I'll see you. She has no idea how right she is. All right. Read ads, play songs, take calls. I'm a fully automated DJ. <laughs> Hi, I'm down here now. I hope this doesn't fuck with the subtitles too long. Oh. <laughs> Look, she's pretty cute, but there's no tagline. And I guess we're still trying to date? Ro this also tells me nothing about you. Um, indeed. Okay. Okay. Um. No. Not, okay, no, cringe. Uh. You need put in fucking taglines. <sighs> Uh, I, I really don't have any desire to, like, pursue anybody right now. Like, I don't, I'm, I'm upset nothing's happened with Fiona. Like, what the heck is the point of, like, any of this swiping? That's a lot. <laughs> um, I guess you're dressed up for Halloween, I guess. Okay, it's a subtle way to tell me you're into BDSM. That's as good a sign as any. Time to say goodbye to this app. Good, because um, I felt awkward the entire time using it. We have messages, apparently. From Fiona? Hey, stranger. I know it's been a minute, but I need some of that quality stuff advice. So should I audition for a production of a Christmas gear? Ugh. Ugh, so sick of seeing Christmas Carol stuff up. Ugh. The company is super experimental and weird, so maybe they'll do something cool with the ghosts, but there are zero cool roles for women. 
Sure, why not? I don't know. Like, I've really wanted to work with this company for a minute. I guess. But, like, it's a Christmas carol. But I don't really want to do the heteronormative girl who broke Scrooge's heart thing. What does that mean? Maybe I could be one of the ghosts that would be different. I think I'd make a pretty good ghost. You'd be a good ghost to Christmas present. That's not the cool one. The cool one is the future one. <laughs> but the future one also doesn't have lines. You think? I don't know. I'm worried I rolled my eyes the whole time. Like, Ebenezer, the sum of your childhood trauma is I did all my homework and my girlfriend broke up with me. Maybe, um, get over it. Oh, that's right. That is how that ended up. <laughs> like, every queer person I know had a way rougher childhood. Huh. 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 Ugh, too close. Um, okay. Well, I got folks coming over, so I gotta hop off. Talk later. Okay. So, I guess it's sort of keeping up with Fiona the entire time. Well, not the entire time, because we didn't have her last time, but... Okay, it's good that the game kind of remembers that. Well, let's get an ad done. Where are the... Oh, cool. Our ad list is intact. Let's get a photo. We always start with a lantern. Let's go do the lantern. KRCT is brought to you by the Black Lantern, where, at this very moment, there's a New Year's rager brewing. You still have time to... Wow, I didn't know you, that you were there. Uh, blah, 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 free champagne, raffle. Uh, raffle. You can get champagne Win at home. one of the raffle prizes donated by local artisans. Also, tap out night is the last Thursday of every month. The Lantern offers... We got dink specials. No, it's drink specials. Drink specials, so you can try all the new arrivals without breaking the bank. Happy New Year from the Black Lantern, the beer-scented heart of Haven Springs. All right, all right, all right. All right, Gabe. What did you leave out there for me? Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have a message from Gabe that I want to look at. You checked under the front door of the shop lately for like, I don't know, surprise. <laughs> Aww. What did you do? What did you do, my sweet boy? Oh, I miss him. I miss him so much. Lax is going to be fun. Okay, now I'm really scared. Oh, okay. So this is like the year before Alex came here. Okay. Cause like she showed up, well, not exactly a year, obviously, but like 2018, 2019, Alex showed up. Wait, wait, wait. Izzy texted us. I want to see that. Alex showed up like April, May, somewhere around that. She showed up in spring of the next year. So, oh, geez. Wait, you're talking to each other again on the 13th, apparently. Hey, hi, so I unblocked you. Yeah, you sure did. I just found this and thought you might want to copy. Wait, am I allowed to click on this to get a bigger... Oh, that's a tiny photo. Izzy's cute. Oh, oh, stuff. Oh, wow, that's a really good pic of us. I know, right? I look hot. You really do. What a good day, huh? Yeah, anyway, hit me up if you're ever back in Seattle. I will. That doesn't really give me more context as to what happened with you, but all right. Uh, let's go out to the store. I think the way that I'm going to play it out is once we get another phone call, we'll take the phone call and then read another ad and do it like that so that we can get record store stuff done. Oh, 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 he slid it under the door. Why did I think it was waiting outside? Oh, what is this bu- <laughs> What is this swirly text? That's an old font I haven't seen in years. Oh my god. Let me see, let me see, let me see. What is it? A fucking scavenger hunt on New Year's <laughs> Eve. My friends are dorks. Oh, you wrote it in rainbow. My heart. Steph, wait, what? Your friends put together a surprise scavenger hunt and this is the first clue? You must have seriously great friends. That is Gabe, uh, Charlotte. Who's our... Oh, oh, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. I'm an idiot. We're starting off easy. Don't look far. Okay. Aw, sweet. That's so cute. All right. Don't look far, you say. Uh, oh. I really am mushy. dense. Even for Gabe. One year ago, this brought us together. We were friends in a heartbeat. Ugh, fucking Gabe. Heartbeat, huh? That doesn't help me very much. Ah, drum set. Gimme. Typical Ryan, making triple sure I get it. Ever since you started illuminating the future, you show some of <laughs> You really made Haven shine again. Okay, I get it. I'm dense. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, <laughs> Mal's so bad at controlling cameras. <laughs> Let's go answer the phone. And then we'll read another ad, and then we'll look for a light somewhere. Because it's probably that. 
Um, some kind of light, anyway. This video is gonna get claimed so bad with all this music playing, but I really could not care less. Like, whatever. Uh, where, 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 where's the phone? Eh. Oh, uh, that. You made a death bet with someone? <laughs> Many years ago, my friends and I buried a chest of some value deep in the Nevada desert. We agreed that the last of us to remain alive would win the right to dig up that chest and claim its contents. It's a common arrangement, although it's <laughs> admittedly fallen out of favor and legality. You may know it as a tontine. Like, what are you talking about? How many of you are left? God, this music's loud. How many loud. of you are left? Three. Uh, plus me equals four. For now. <laughs> I'll consult the fates and be right back. Okay. So glad this is up to the D20 and not me. You gonna, you gonna let me have it? Come on. <laughs> this is silly. Sorry, Ducky. For yay? The fuck does that mean? So, Ducky's taunting. I don't understand what that is. Uh, he dies? No! <laughs> Ducky? I'm back. Are you kidding me? Happily or sadly, your friends all continue to live this year. <laughs> so you don't win your taunting. You're certain. They're really <laughs> He talks like my grandmother. No, this one's fun. I mean, I guess you could still go and kill them. Go all John Wick or whatever. I would never dream of it. As a gentleman and a friend. Also, murder voids the terms of the top G. Ducky talks like, like my grandmother. To the contract. <laughs> but thinking about your friend's death so much causes you to remember why you were friends with them in the first place. You decide to visit each of them over the year and have a great time reconnecting on a totally tontine free level. If I cannot be rich in gold, I will be rich in friendship. Thanks for calling, Ducky. Aww. Let's read an ad then. Aww. That's so sweet. Ducky talks like my grandmother and that just makes my heart very happy. Hey, we've got a returning spot today Grimley's auto repair serving Haven Springs uh, uh this since 2005 before some of my listeners were even born and if you're one of them remember only cool kids stay up late and listen to local radio <laughs> Grimley's is opened on every major winter holiday so if you uh uh Reindeer crashed your car head on into Comet, Cupid, Donner, or Vixen. <laughs> so more they're here for you. Again, that's Grimley's Auto Repair, your best hand greasiest neighbors. Ew. Great. Glad we read that ad. Let's go uh, find a giant ass light so that uh, Ryan can stop being so fucking obvious with his clues. Well, I don't see light, but we can listen to our song. I want to hear the final I song, did a actually. I bunch of work on my song. I think it's finally finished. I want to hear it. I was afraid this would happen. Well, not then this. But something unknown As my spring colors were blackening Couldn't you see That I had to go It's a long way to travel It cuts through the mountains Arcadia abdicates It's hold over me 
So the first step to catch the path should be in company. Me, I'm with you. Yeah, you, you're with me. You said that you knew this would happen. Well, not now this, but some sepia pain. I'm not just running, I'm reacting. That's why you can't see that I must remain. It's a long way from home, and I'm left in the mountains. Stephanie amputates everything good. And the first thought I catch when I wake is what's left of me. Do I self suffice in unlikelihood? Oh, I think that's the end, and it's just gonna loop from here. I'm done with oh. moving forward, but I'll never go back. I've done my best to pull through, but there's still so much slack. Mistakes are piling at my feet. Just push them down into the cracks. It's a long way to home, and it cuts through the mountains. Color desaturates, sunlight subdues. But the first snow to catch, the light falls on a precipice, a point of perspective to plan the next move. gonna make me cry this is so good oh my god like i love i don't know how well the bass is coming through unless you're wearing headphones but like the bass sounds so good oh this came together so well okay it's repeating now we can pop out that was so good oh my god my heart my Ugh. little idea has grown up into a whole ass song <laughs> is that maybe actually I share it with someone maybe uh Play it on the radio. They don't have to know it's you. They don't have to fucking know it's you. Why not? You own the station now. Why hey, not? Hey, KRCT listeners. Got a special treat for you. Here's a world premiere by a talented up-and-comer who might just be finally getting her shit together. Go for it. Oh, I'm proud. I'm so proud. Let me know what you think. I'm so fucking proud. Uh. Oh. Aww. Let's pop out of here because I don't want to read an ad over this, but I'm proud. I'm like, of course I'm going to play it on the radio if it gives me the option. I want her to get it out there. Wait, what the hell? Why are you? Why? All right, fine. Gotta keep looking. Where's that next clue? Screw my choice, I guess. Uh, Char. Charlotte Rainbow! <laughs> He took a giant leap of faith and moved to a strange town where he forged a badass creative life for yourself. Find the next clue in the record bin that describes what you are. <laughs> what a dork. <laughs> oh. I love them. I love them so much. Ugh. Something about seeing a song come together just by heart. Oh my goodness. Inspiration. Oh. Oh. That's so sweet. What? Thanks for selling comics. That's what I call awesome. What? <laughs> oh, switchboard. This must be in the booth, right? That's. I don't know what a switchboard is, but you said call. So maybe in here? A switchboard has something to do with, like, recording, right? I don't own one, obviously, but, like, I have a mixer. That's probably not the same. But there must be something in here. Okay, 
There it is. In here somewhere. See Valkyrie? We're best friends. It says so right here. <laughs> She's your real best friend. No trying to pretend. I tried to compete. I admit defeat. It's a match made in hell. What could I say? Oh well. So I gotta find the cat? I don't know where Valkyrie- Oh fuck, wrong button. I don't know where Valkyrie is, but uh, let's read an ad while we're here just so that we get that out of the way. Uh, should be the last one. Spamps. Aww. Sad Avalanche doesn't have another ad. Not sure how you're gonna survive the long holidayless stretch until Valentine's Day? Not to worry. Spamps Grocery has you covered. Keep the winter cheer alive with... Uh... Yeah. Sales on your favorite holiday foods. Treat yourself to a discounted novelty-sized candy cane. But this time, without the excuse. <laughs> and as we ready those New Year's resolutions, Spamps is your one-stop shop for... Oh, uh, fuck. Uh... That... Healthy foods to eat during the two weeks you actually use your gym membership. Happy New Year from Spamps. Okay, that covers us for ads. Okay, come on, let me move. Gotta keep looking. Are you, I was just Where's you couldn't have you couldn't have called when I was in, okay, fine, whatever. Uh All right, let's do this. Who the fuck is calling in? Cuz I don't know where our cat is. Uh fuck, where's the yeah. Happy New Year. You're on with Steph. Oh, wow. Hi. I have a major problem I'd love your help with. Oh, holy My fuck. My college minor was in major problems. Let's hear it. Okay. It's about a Christmas present I got this year from my grandma. Uh, ugly sweater, probably. Peer pressure has you scared to wear the ugly sweater, even though you actually love it to death. I wish it were that, honestly. My grandma bought me a $4,000 video camera with the lighting rig. What? Whoa. I know. I don't want her paying for that. She's a retired grocer. But it's not just about the expense. For a while, I wanted to be a movie director, and grandma super latched onto it. DVDs, filmmaking books, online courses. Now this. I'm guessing you're not as into filmmaking anymore? Honestly, the more I've learned about the industry, the more I question if it's really something for me. So what do I do? Return the camera and just roll over her feelings with the truck? Oh, I will yikes. consult the cosmos. That's actually really... No, that's super tough, actually. Jeez. Like, I get where he's coming from, but... At the same time. A 12 doesn't tell me much. No. That doesn't. What does one do with an overexpensive gift? Uh. Well. Is it. Are you scared of the industry because you're worried about schmoozing and stuff and you still want to make films? Or. Because that, that's really what would depend on that. But then again, you don't need a $4,000 camera if you're not sure about it yet, so return it and have an honest conversation. Cosmos consulted. I'm braced for it. Please tell me you phrase this okay. You return the whopper of a gift and come clean with grandma after all those years of misguided Wait, presence. years? Oh, my stomach That's hurts. on you, dude. It's a thorny conversation, not at all softened by your grandma's homemade raspberry tarts. Oh, I would say she's thankful, like, maybe hurt at first, but thankful in the end. Even though she's embarrassed, she's thankful that you were honest. It shows that you really do value her. <sighs> That's a relief. And instead of video cameras, Grandma makes you a holiday sweater every year featuring Rudolph in various summertime occupations. <laughs> oh? Gardener, lifeguard, ice cream truck driver, seasonal orchard hand, that sort of thing. Is she trolling you? Mm, it's unclear. <laughs> huh. But you learned something important. Never return a gift from Grandma? No matter what happens, there's nothing you can say or do to make your Grandma stop adoring you. And the more you get out in the world, the more people you meet, 
the more you realize how rare and special that is. Thanks, Steph. That means a lot. Oh. You got it. Oh. Precious. Okay, so that's literally everything, but we still need to find our kitten. Because apparently it's with her. Uh, apparently not with Val, but there's yeah, a clue nearby. Grateful. This cost me three whole dollars. Yeah, 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 give me. You saw the shelf in the back? You fuckers. <laughs> that was so long just for me to check the back shelf. I did walk Holy right past shit. it. This is rad. <laughs> Whosoever sits here does so by the beneficence of Steph Gingrich, Black Lantern regular and staple of Haven community, must yield their place to her upon <laughs> request. A wonderful bunch of absolute geeks. Steph, the time has come for me to formally release you from your foosball oath. If or when you're ready to leave Hayden, I won't or Haven, I won't throw a fit, I promise. On the other hand, though, maybe you've seen the little plaques screwed onto some of the bar stools at final taverns and such. Those seats are reserved for members of the community who, no matter how far they stray or how long they stay gone, will always have a spot at the bar when they return. Well, you're one of them now. You've earned it. Thanks for a great year. We love you, ma'am. Gay, Brian, and Charlotte. P.S. Swing by tomorrow and claim your stool. Aww. All right. I think it's about time to crack open that champagne. All right. Do we have to go over and close up? Probably. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, my heart. Do we... It... Oh, oh, oh. That wasn't here before. I'm calling bullshit. Gimme. <laughs> oh, wait. Yes, it was. I'm an idiot. Okay, Jed. <laughs> you hook me up with? Oh. Close enough. Oh, you don't have anyone to do the kiss with. <laughs> it's fine. It'll clean up with some napkins. Happy New Year, Valkyrie! Wherever you are. Oh, She'll come back. She basically lives here. <laughs> Aww. Cute. It wouldn't just leave off there, right? Though, there has to be, like, something more here. Like, this was cute and all, but, like... Yeah, I was about to say, there's gotta be more. Right? Oh, there's Ryan! Val! <laughs> oh. Shout out to anyone who sung along with that bridge. You're awesome. New releases in just a minute, but first, let's hear from you. Hey there, you're live on KRCT. How's it going? Hey Steph, I heard you don't do fortunes anymore. Could you, could you make an exception? Oops, the Sorry, fuck? Sorry, those days are over. But why? Did something happen? Not really. Just started thinking life's more interesting if you don't try to predict everything first. Oh, It's such a tiny question. All I want to know is which friend should I- The taller one. Thanks for calling. <laughs> I love her. Question from Rochelle in Colorado Springs. How's Valkyrie doing? <laughs> Val let me pet her the other day, and then she bit me more gently than usual. We're definitely getting somewhere. All right, here's a new release from The Wednesday. Let me know what you think. Wait, what? You're trying to go to Seattle? And you're wearing your pride shirt? <laughs> oh. This girl warms my heart so much. Oh! There I am. Oh, that's right. This is the day that... Oh! 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 My heart. My 
fucking heart. And that's where we showed up. Oh, <laughs> Wait, what? Huh. I guess that's it for wavelengths. That was kind of abrupt. I mean, I definitely enjoyed myself. It didn't really add too much, but I appreciated like the brief exploration into like queer culture, you know, that makes me happy. It still upsets me that it was thrown again into the DLC instead of like a main game thing, but we're gonna get there one day. Um, I appreciated like the insight into Steph's past a little more and understanding her more as a character. That was so fun. And I love the little throwback to Arcadia Bay, even though it was a little, it kind of felt a little tossed in, but I mean, I'll take it. Like at this point, it's, it's whatever, but it was a really fun experience for what it was. I guess that's it for wavelengths. So thank you so much. Whoever happens to be watching this, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help me out. And until next time, bye.